What is going on guys? How's it going? Thanks for tuning in to another video. Rush SRT back at it again. Today's video, we're talking about a very important topic that I believe every challenger or charger owner should know before picking up one of these cars. So a lot of guys on this channel DM me constantly in terms of what mods they should do to the 392. So today I figured I'd make a video for you guys uh, explaining some things that uh, I kind of wish I knew before I bought the 392. So uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. Cold start, the 392. Really strange but let's see what's going on here I am a little low on fuel but that should not have affected anything I'm gonna go ahead and check my uh, oil level real quick coolant is good oil I have to check when the car is off so. I really don't know what to make of that. That was, I've never seen it do that before and that was a lot of smoke coming out of the back there. So I'm not sure if it's like built up oil or something, but it's got me a little worried. I'm not gonna lie. Now that was quite frankly, one of the weirdest things I've ever seen my car do. Um, it's made like a little bit of smoke before, but like a very small amount that may have been condensation. But whatever happened today, that was definitely not condensation. That was something more serious than that. Uh, and it smelled like oil being burnt. So I'm not sure if there was any oil that was retaining uh, like within the, the engine somehow that got burnt off as soon as I started it up. But that was really weird and really alarming that a, my car, which only has 14,000 miles, is uh, doing so oil pressure seems to be fine at 55 psi so no worries there but just the overall uh, the fact that it even did that was, was really weird to me and is it a GT there it is. what's up bro What's up? YouTuber or something? Yeah, yeah, I make YouTube videos, bro. Really? I do, yeah. What's your YouTube channel? Uh, What's Rush YouTube? SRT. What? Rush SRT. Really? Yeah. Check me out. Cool. What do you have done to this thing? I'm just video games, bro. You you play video games? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's cool. How many cool. subscribers do you have? Uh, fifteen thousand. Uh, uh, yeah. What about I, you? I'm hundred. Hundred fifty? Yeah. Oh, cool. What games do you play? I play Fortnite now, but I used to play Battlefield and CS:GO and all this shit. Oh, okay. I used to play CS2. It's pretty really? cool. Yeah. Yeah, I believe Bro, hit me up on Instagram. We'll do a video or something. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. See, that was, uh, that's how things work, guys. Just be nice and things just pop off. I forgot to ask what his YouTube channel was, but uh, he's a YouTuber too. He plays video games though. I do car content. Maybe we'll get a collaboration going. Who knows? So one of my favorite places not to be ever, gas station. Uh, it's probably like the third time I filled up this week. And here we go yet again. Challenges eats, eating up all my money. Alrighty, good old 91 for 3.59 today. Good old California gas prices. So if you guys live anywhere not in California, must be nice. Love these little things right there. There we go. I'm curious to do another start up and see if we have any smoke come out. I hope no smoke comes out, but we will see. So you guys saw what I did earlier. Hope it doesn't do it again. Side the keychain once again. And uh, let's see. Like it didn't do it that time so hopefully uh, we're still good does that ever happen to you guys where something happens and it just like you keep thinking about it I'm that type of guy with my cars so now that that thing happened and I saw the smoke come out I'm just gonna automatically just keep kind of thinking about it and thinking of, of what it could have been and why it happened all this stuff so uh, I, I'm really not sure what to say but 
If you have any information on that, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what it could possibly be. All right, so now that the car is warmed up, you might be wondering what the hell did Rush want to talk about today? Now to do this video properly, we need this bad boy right here, my good old handy dandy tripod. And next up, There you have it. The hood is popped, so what could we be talking about today? Well, today I wanted to talk about that beautiful 392 that you'll find in the Charger, Challenger, Scat Pack, and SRTs. And the reason is I wanted to talk about it because it is a question that comes up quite frequently on my channel. And there's a lot of people that message me on Instagram and Snapchat. And usually the question goes, hey Rush, I just picked up a 392 and I want to modify it for more power, what should I do? I don't know how to answer that question. And the reason being is because it is not a very easy question to answer, especially when we're talking about the 392, which from the factory comes with 485 horsepower for 75 torque. So it's making a decent amount of power from the get-go, but it's an up-and-coming trend that everyone wants to modify their cars and make crazy numbers because, well, the crazy numbers are out there all the time. 1,000 horsepower Hellcat, 1,000 horsepower Supra, 1,000 horsepower Mustang. We keep hearing these big numbers, and I think people don't realize the dedication it takes, the amount of money, um, and the true ownership experience of a car with that much power. So do you really need a thousand horsepower? Probably not, but it just sounds cool that your car has a thousand horsepower and it gives you awesome bragging rights and it makes you go really fast and probably could end you up in a lot of trouble really easily. Because I can tell you what, this 485 horsepower engine that's in my car at the moment uh, could easily get me in a ton of trouble and almost has on multiple occasions. So I don't know how to answer that question because the 392 is one of those engines where I believe it's kind of pushed to its, its upper limit uh, in terms of what you can get out of it in its current form. So obviously there's some stuff you can do to it and you can get a lot more power out of it. But that stuff involves spending thousands on thousands of thousands of dollars to get to that point. And uh, that involves like forging the internals, upgrading the fuel system, uh, doing a whole bunch of stuff to be able to make more power. And the way you would do that is by adding boost to the vehicle. So uh, if you plan a Pro Charge or Whipple or anything like that, you're only gonna be able to get between six to seven pounds of boost before uh, you're pretty much maxed out and you risk blowing your engine or breaking something. So for that reason, I've shied away from that route uh, of trying to, to add a, a blower to the 392. Uh, because it's not like the Hellcat, uh, it's not reinforced, that engine isn't as strong to be able to handle boost and uh, that's kind of what scares me because if you get into rebuilding the engine and all that, I feel like the cost would just add up to what you would spend on a Hellcat and then you'd have more problems, you'd have no warranty, so you'd have all these other uh, issues that arise from doing that. So I wish someone that uh, kind of had guided me before I got 392. Before then I wasn't as educated on kind of muscle cars and especially not on Mopars as I am now but no one had given me the advice that if you are looking to make a lot of power and kind of step it up uh, it's probably not the best idea to end up with a 392 uh, because it's gonna cost you so much money to unlock the PCM uh, all the there's not really that many options for aftermarket support so if you are trying to make lots of power, then go into jump into Hellcat, jump into a Mustang, jump into a Camaro. Those are better platforms to build off of. Uh, so they might, like the Camaro, Mustang, uh, they might start off a little on the weaker end, but they can easily make a lot of power because you know they can handle boost and you don't have to throw a ton of money at it to, to be able to handle a Pro Charger or a Whipple or anything of that sort. Versus this engine, you are gonna have to spend a lot of money to get there and uh, it might become that it's not worth it for you. And that's kind of what I felt because I wanted to modify the engine, but when I started looking into the cost of doing so and the horsepower gain, it just didn't really line up. The horsepower per dollar figure was not there for this vehicle to me. Um, I'd rather enjoy it the way it is and then when I'm ready, I can upgrade into a Hellcat um, and modify that where it can handle it and I can get a ton of power and really enjoy it. So that's kind of been my uh, my perspective on things. 
Uh, this car is still a ton of fun. Uh, and then the cool, nice thing about it is you can really kind of drive it hard and enjoy it and uh, not have worries of reliability issues or anything really going wrong. I've put 14,000 miles on it this far and they haven't been easy miles. You know, it's, it's, you've seen a drag stretch, you've seen a lot of races, uh, a lot of harsh driving, canyons, stuff like that. Um, and she's done amazingly. There hasn't been a single issue with the engine. Apart from today's weird startup, I, I still don't know what that was. But apart from that, the car has been very, very solid. So that's kind of been my two cents on it. Uh, for all the people asking me whether they should modify their 392, now at least you know where I'm coming from. Uh, will my opinion change? Maybe down the road something will happen, some new product will come out that will uh, change my mind on wanting to modify the 392. But as of right now, I don't really have an intention to uh, try to make a ton of power with this engine. I just don't see the horsepower per dollar as I told you guys. But until then, let me know what you guys think. I know a ton of you guys are going to disagree with me right off the bat, but that's okay. That's kind of why I made this video. I wanted to start that discussion. Uh, I'm sure there's people out there that have built the 392 up and are making amazing power. So let us know of your experiences down below in the, in the comments so other people in the community that are interested in doing so can maybe learn a little more and gather some more information. It's always nice to hear back from you guys. And uh, maybe if someone has a cool build that uh, they let us know about down below, we can make a video about it next time and uh, you get a get a feature on the channel and uh, get to kind of show off your build so that would be pretty cool let me go ahead and wrap it up there hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you leave a like on it if you're new to the channel hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome content i will see you tomorrow peace